Hello Glendale Library friends, I'm Amy from the Makerspace and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to make this super cute owl shaped pillow and if you're feeling really ambitious you can make a whole trio of these pillows, a small, medium, and a large. Today I'm going to show you how to make the medium sized and you can apply the same steps and use our patterns to make a small, medium, and large if you want to later. All right, let's get started. These are the materials that you will need for today. There's a few items I'm going to show you. First, you will need some polyfill. It's a polyester fiber fill stuffing for your pillow. You'll need our pattern, which you will be able to download from the Glendale Library website. You'll need some fabric. I, I had this scrap, it's like a linen canvas. Flannel would work well, or um, a cotton blend. Something solid, it needs to be solid, or this has a little bit of a texture to it, that's okay. You'll need felt. Um, I'm gonna use two different colors of felt. If you wanna use just one color, you can. You'll need embroidery thread, an embroidery needle, pins, a small scissor for threads, and a large scissor for your fabric. And that's it. So I laid out my fabric. You wanna iron it and make sure it's nice and smooth. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it over right sides together. So you wanna have the right sides touching each other. And you wanna make sure that the, the arrow, the grain line on your pattern is going parallel to the selvage edge. I don't have a selvage edge, but I can tell by the weave that this is my length grain. So I'm, this line should be par parallel to your length grain. Um, I don't want to waste fabric, so I'm just going to line my pattern up here at the bottom. And that looks pretty good. I am, I'm using fabric weights. If you don't have fabric weights or pattern weights, you can use pins. And I'm ready to cut. Now it's time to cut out the forehead for the owl, the forehead part, and these haunches. So we're using felt for that. So this is my forehead pattern, and I'm just placing it on my felt. I'm gonna use these straight edges. Saves me time in cutting. And we only need to cut one. We don't need to cut two. Pattern should tell you only to cut one. And then for my haunches, I'm gonna use the green felt, and I do need to cut two. So I'm gonna fold my felt over, and felt doesn't have a grain line, so it doesn't, you don't have to follow where the arrow is with the grain on the fabric, it doesn't have a grain. So you can angle it any way you angle your pattern any way you want to make it work. And I'm using pins because these pieces are so small, I can't really use the fabric weights. So I'm just getting them pinned down like that, and now I'm going to go ahead and cut them both out. So I went ahead and I pinned my forehead to my um, one of my pieces. So we have two owl bodies, a front and a back. So um, this one will be my front and I'll put the forehead, I placed the forehead on and I pinned it. I left a little bit of a, about a quarter inch of an edge here. That's where our seam allowance is gonna go. And then I also pinned the two haunches and I left a little bit of an edge there for our seam allowance. And now I'm going to sew them on on the sewing machine. Um, I'm using brown thread for the forehead, and then I'm going to change and use green thread for the haunches. Um, you want to use matching thread. It's going to look a lot better if you use matching thread. So now all I'm going to do is stitch right on the edge of the felt about an eighth of an inch away. So I'm, it's, I'm very close to the edge. An eighth of an inch isn't very much. I like to start up in this top corner. Take your pins out before you sew. 
And I'm going to go forward a couple stitches and back stitch. And again, I'm going really slow because I want to have a nice straight stitch. This, this is called a top stitch. And everyone's going to see it. It's going to be on the front of the owl's face. So we want to make sure that we have a nice straight and neat and clean stitch. So I'm pivoting here at the end where his nose is going to be and I need to go one more stitch to the edge so I went back and now I pivoted back to the other side and I'm going to continue when I get to the edge here I will stop on this little point and turn and again, I didn't go far enough, so I'm just going to hand crank a little further and turn. And now I'm going to continue stitching at the top of the forehead. This top part won't, should not show. Hopefully it'll get caught in our seam allowance and it won't really show. Backstitch and I'm done. So that's the forehead. Always trim your threads right away. Get in the habit of that. And that's what the forehead looks like when it's done. And now I'm going to change my thread and I'm going to sew the green haunches. Alright, the forehead is finished and I changed my thread to green. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to sew the haunches on. I like to start in this corner here. And it's the same technique as we did on the forehead. I want to stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edge of the felt. get to the corners I'm going to pivot and that's how you sew on the haunches when you get to the end don't forget to backstitch. All right, now it's time to sew on the nose and the eyes with embroidery thread. So I have my embroidery thread and you can use an embroidery needle. I've uh, threaded it with one single layer and I have a nice tail and I put a knot at the bottom and what you're going to do is first we're going to sew the nose on which goes right here right here at the end of the point of the triangle so I start on the underneath and I bring my needle up and we're just going to make a really simple like cross stitch. So I'm making um, a stitch that's about a quarter inch long. And now I'm going to make a cross over it. Another quarter inch long. And that's my nose. So I'm going to finish it with a knot underneath just like this. Grab a piece of the fabric and I bring my needle through the loop and make a knot and trim it off. So that goes really fast and he has a nose. If you want to make it thicker you can. Uh, I like it kind of like that. Now I'm going to make another knot and I'm going to do the eyes. 
So the eye placement is two inches from the nose and a half inch up. So I already marked with some chalk where mine goes. So you go two inches over with your ruler from the nose and then a half inch up. And then you do the same on this side, two inch over and a half inch up. So I've already marked mine with chalk. So I'm coming straight up through the eye and I just want to go up and down and up and down a few times and make a little round eye with some stitches back and forth. I'm going to make it a little more thick than the nose. I'll probably do like four um, cross stitches for the eye. So after you do this one, then you'll do the other eye. And then we're ready for the next step. Okay, so now I have my front finished and I'm going to take my back and I'm going to put right sides together. This fabric doesn't, both sides look the same, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm putting them both together like a sandwich, just like this. And we're going to sew them together on the sewing machine using a quarter inch seam allowance. But first uh, we pin it so that the fabric will stay together as we sew. So I'm just going to put pins about every inch, inch and a half apart all the way around the edge of the um, owl. I'm going to leave an opening to stuff the owl with the polyfill at the bottom. So this is the top. I'm starting at the top of the head and when I get down here to the bottom of it, where the haunches are, I'm going to leave an opening right here so that I can get my hand through. So about right there, about a three inch opening. So don't forget to leave that opening or if you sew it closed, you'll have to go back and uh, tear it out. So I'm just going to finish pinning and then I will show you how to sew it on the sewing machine. Okay, I finished pinning and we're going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance around the edge. So always take your pins out, don't sew over them. Take them out as you go and backstitch at the beginning and the end. going to pivot here so I'll leave my needle in, lift the foot, turn and pivot. And now I'm going to finish the whole owl and leave don't forget to leave the opening. So we're almost done with the owl. We just have a couple more steps. Now, after you've sewn it together, you turn it right side out. If you've left a big enough hole, it shouldn't be too difficult. We're gonna hand stitch the hole closed after we stuff it. 
Um, since we only did a quarter inch seam allowance, we don't have to worry about ironing anything. It's too, you can't really iron anyway. You can't get into the seams. Um, we don't have to trim anything off. So I'm just straight to turning it inside out. I'm using my fingers to get these little sort of uh, ears out here on the owl or points of his head. And I'm using my hand to get these edges pushed out. Just like that. Now I'm going to go to the iron and give it a nice press. And then I'm going to come back and start stuffing it. So I finished ironing my owl. I do encourage you to do the iron, just a quick press. It does help. I even pressed my opening edges under like that, a quarter inch, so it'll be easier when I sew. And now I'm ready to add the polyfill. So it works best to just take a little bit of it at a time, and I kind of pull it apart to get it evenly distributed inside. And start with the corners that are the furthest away and get them filled up and slowly work your way down. Then work over here and get this corner and then slowly work your way down and you'll get the most evenly distributed amount of polyfill in. So I'm just going to keep working on this and when I'm done I'll show you how to hand sew the hole up this hole at the bottom and the owl will be finished. So I finished stuffing the owl. He looks really cute and I have this hole that I need to fix. Um, first I'm going to pin it. So it's a little bit tricky. Use the iron and, um, and fold your edges over um, and then you're going to need to use the pins. to hold the edges closed and once you get it pinned then you can sew it shut. If you can uh, get it into the sewing machine you could do it that way it'd be faster but it's really hard to squeeze a stuffed animal under the sewing machine so I find that it's just easier to um, hand stitch this, this hole closed. takes a little bit of patience. Okay, so to close it up by hand sewing, I'm not going to put a knot. I'm just using a single layer of thread and I'm going to make an invisible knot. So I'm starting right at the opening and to make an invisible knot, I don't pull my thread all the way through. I stop and now as I'm going through a second time, I go through the loop. got caught on one of my pins. So I'm going to start over and there's my knot. I'm going to go through it again just to make sure it's tight and then you can go back and trim off that thread that's hanging. And I'm just doing a simple um, back and forth stitch. I'm taking a little bit of the fold on the one side, a little bit of the fold on the back side and pulling it tight through. And I'm making my stitches really close together so that it'll um, hold nice and tight. 
and definitely use matching thread so it doesn't show too much. My stitches are probably like a quarter inch and to an eighth of an inch apart. And we're almost done here. Thank you for joining me on this sewing project. Enjoy your owls! Bye!